the religion of Jehovah's Witnesses is so unhealthy in their thinking and their practices. To start off with, Jehovah's Witnesses believe in a paradise earth just, just after Armageddon. And Armageddon is going to happen any time now. So we are in the last of the very last of the continual last, 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 last days. Otherwise, we are breaking through that ribbon that's across the finish line. Right now, we're leaning on it. But the end never comes. So Jehovah's Witnesses, because, you know, we are in the last days, they do not emphasize on being healthy. It's not a healthy way of thinking. You know, if you can live forever, just think about that. In a paradise earth, living forever because, you know, that's what they believe. Um, in paradise, why even put any effort into being healthy either? Why would you exercise? Because you'll just do it tomorrow. That thinking is going to get them in a lot of trouble, and it has. The governing body and the organization doesn't emphasize taking care of themselves. And the reason is, is because if you look at the governing body, they, they're not healthy either. They're not very healthy at all. That is one of the unhealthy things having to do with Jehovah's Witnesses. The next thing is living defensively. You know, me and my family, uh, the whole time we're in the religion, we always had to live on the defensive. So, um, like our cell phones, nobody gets our passwords to our cell phones because one time happened with my son, uh, somebody asked, you know, it was a Jehovah's Witness girl. She's like, oh, let me see your phone, Ezekiel, you know, gets on his phone and all of a sudden she doesn't approve of any of his music. She was being nosy. And that's what Jehovah's Witnesses do. They are nosy. They are always in everybody else's business. Why? Because they want to justify for the things that they do or they they like. Or they just want to bring you down. And it, it's it's like a competition. It reminds me of... I believe the movie was Finding Nemo when all the uh, seagulls were out there and they're all mine. Mine. You know, I understand why. It's because, you know, they are living without. They are living in poverty. They long to have a better life, better lifestyle. But it's just not happening in the system. And trust me, it's not going to happen in the new system either. The third thing is, is... Uh, what's unhealthy is that they always talk about relying on Jehovah. So, you know, you hear about these young couples that they will sell all their belongings and donate all of it to the organization, which is very stupid because once it's donated, it is gone. They will not help you out. They're not, if you hit hard times, they're not going to give it back to you, period. So these young ones, they say, well, we're going to be need graders or whatever you call them. We're going to be missionaries. We're going to go to these other countries and, you know, we're going to help out where the need is great. And guess what? You know, they start to use the people in the congregation. They rely on Jehovah. No, they're putting a burden on the congregation. You don't have any money. You're broke. You don't have a place to stay. And you're relying on these people. You're not relying on Jehovah. If you were then you would just walk up to the hotel and they would just give you a room because Jehovah reserved one for you. He didn't. It's just ridiculous. The fourth is that it's so unhealthy not to be able to celebrate, to celebrate one's life, to even celebrate the holidays. You know, it's not that because everybody else is doing it. It's because, you know, these are creating memories in life. This is the only life that you are guaranteed to have, you know? Just because this organization says that there's a future paradise does not mean that they are right. When it came down to, you know, guessing when the, the end of that system was or when Armageddon was going to happen, Jehovah's Witnesses failed like four or five times. The last time was 1975 and that's when a bunch of Jehovah's Witnesses left. They're leaving again. Why? Because Google is killing them. People are becoming informed and they're starting to, you know, step up and be responsible for their own actions and also starting to look out for their family. That's what we did. You know, we left for our family. Why? Because that's natural love. You know, it's unconditional. You know, loving your child is unconditional. Uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, 
to them it's on the condition it's on the condition that they grow up and get baptized so you know holidays birthdays you know jehovah's witnesses always rationalize saying well there are only two birthdays in the bible and both of them were horrible and one of them john the baptist's head was cut off for a birthday yeah well it also shows in the bible that lot had sex with his daughters does that mean it's okay no it doesn't no it's morally wrong i can't even believe that's in the bible so if you're gonna use the bible to rationalize why you don't celebrate birthdays it's ridiculous enjoy life enjoy you know birthdays some people view them as depressing times because you know they're just getting older but for young ones they're the most memorable times they are the most memorable you know that's what builds loving close strong families not sitting in a meeting for an hour and a half two or three times a week trying to just make your little kid pay attention to some boring speaker up there and trust me i was one of those boring speakers and it's just it's ridiculous that is not loving that is not building memories uh here's a test um ask your children and tell them to be honest with you without any kind of discipline or any kind of you know consequences what was your most you know happiest moment in your life just happiest moment not just not in the religion just your happiest moment period in your life you know next you ask them so what was your happiest moment as one of Jehovah's Witnesses name five they're gonna try to tickle your ears by saying oh baptism was the happiest time of my life as you know one of Jehovah's Witnesses no I mean yeah they got uh, you know people to pat them on the back and say congratulations and welcome brother sister you know but in all reality they will remember all these other times that you spent as a family more than they're gonna remember any kind of spiritual activity talking about unhealthy things number five would be you know things having to do with armageddon this is so unhealthy to think that armageddon is coming and that you know that the governments are going to come and they're going to you know basically put you throw you into prison they're going to throw you into prison they're going to you know persecute you they're going to some of them might kill you and you know that's kind of horrifying especially trying to teach that to children and you know i've heard you know some accounts and i can't remember if it was lloyd evans or who it was but you know their family or their dad would run drills like hey kids get your stuff ready oh my gosh did you see the report you know their armageddon's here the government's coming after us let's get into the basement you know and they run these drills scaring the crap out of these kids that is so unhealthy that is mental abuse but you know that's just the way the religion is you know that kind of reminds me of like branch davidian kind of stuff with david koresh you know and you know when it comes down to armageddon like me i disassociated so i'm not only an apostate i'm an evil apostate they're gonna be calling names so childish but when it comes down to armageddon you know jehovah's witnesses the ones that like me that really are you know you know, PIMI, um, they wish or they hope that I die before Armageddon. And that is really bizarre because they would rather me die in a car accident. Uh, they'd rather me, you know, get jumped on the street and stabbed and killed than to live through Armageddon. You know, if I were to die right now, they would be like, oh, good. At least he'll be in paradise. You know, it doesn't make any sense. It's unhealthy thinking. That's that's like so morbid. It's like weird. It doesn't. It it's like it's sick. But that's the way Jehovah's Witnesses think. That's how the doctrines teach them. It's better to die before I'm again if you're not one of Jehovah's Witnesses. Apparently, so that's what's scary about like you know you think about these other cults like you know Jimmy Jones and Jonestown. Um, you know, Jimmy Jones he had all of his followers. Uh, kill their children first and when he had him kill their had them kill their children first it was I could only imagine you know how how sick 
that whole thing was, you know. And after these parents killed their children, well, they're past the point of no return. Well, they have nothing else to live for, so they in turn, they killed themselves. So Jonestown was a massacre. Number six of the unhealthy things that Jehovah's Witnesses do or their practices is all the guilt that they have. Jehovah's Witnesses have so much guilt. And, you know, if they miss a meeting, they feel guilty. If they, you know, you know like e even in the publications or in their videos, they show like people going, they're going, the family, you know, we're going to explore nature. You know, Jehovah created all this stuff. So let's go and visit the mountain. When do you have time to go visit the mountain? Really? I mean, during the week, you have to work. So by the time you get up to the mountain, it's dark and you cannot go hiking in the dark. On the weekend, Saturday you have field service, Sunday you have the meeting, and by the time you get up to the mountain after doing either one of those, it's dark. You cannot do it. And if you miss a meeting, guess what? Now your conscience bothers you. You have guilt. See, that's how unhealthy this religion is. It guilts people. And me and my family, we're guilt-free. You know, we're happy. It's, it's just like, it's amazing of what kind of burden was lifted off of our shoulders once I sent my disassociation letter. Actually, once I talked to the family. The organization of Jehovah's Witnesses uh, puts so much emphasis on spiritual activity that their expectations are way up here and the average Jehovah's Witness, they could only get up to here. This is their goal, but they could only get up to here. See, the expectations, they just can't live up to them. They cannot live up to the expectations. And to top it off, you know, health always gets in the way because they're an unhealthy people. It's really sad. And, you know, I like Jehovah's Witnesses. They are really nice people, most of them for the most part. But, you know, I just wish that they can see that they are wasting theirs and their children's and their grandchildren's best years by being part of this institution it's not god's organization it's not backed by jehovah jesus none of them jesus never he didn't say there's a building work that we must do so there really shouldn't be any kingdom halls there shouldn't be any branch office there shouldn't be any like right now they're working on a some kind of a tv studio kind of thing jesus would be like <laughs> I never knew you. Get away from me, you worker of lawlessness. That's exactly what he would say. Number seven, what's so unhealthy is that, you know, Jehovah's Witnesses, they talk about, you know, being in the new system and or even just getting through Armageddon. You know, it's like, oh, if something happens and the government's come after us and then we might have to flee up to the mountains. Jehovah's Witnesses have zero survival skills. Zero. It doesn't make any sense. In the new system, could you imagine them starting a whole civilization all over again you know it doesn't none of it makes any sense zero survival skills you know there are a few you know jehovah's witnesses that have gone camping and they like to do that stuff and those are the ones that don't have any responsibilities as a jehovah's witness because they learned by getting burned and it's just really sad you know because they are really nice people but zero survival skills but you know as far as you know jehovah's witnesses being unhealthy uh, I got to see because, you know, I was really unhealthy. It, mentally, I was so unhealthy in that religion. And it has affected me. It has affected me, has affected, you know, my family. You know, I have a couple kids that have post-traumatic stress just from the doctrination. The indoctrination really did a number, you know, on the family. And we're all overcoming all these different, you know, triggers. And, you know, we're, we're moving forward. We're progressing. Things are getting so much better. And, uh, you know, when it comes down to religion, it's just unhealthy. It's not good for you. So it's kind of like that little lollipop in the gutter. You know, when it shows up with the watchtower awake, uh, leave that lollipop in the gutter. <laughs> so anyways, so if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button because I'll be making a little, a few more videos. And, uh... As always, you know, I wish you well and thank you for watching.